so we are flying over Rome at the moment. It's there, I promise you. And we land in literally about five minutes. Yeah, so here we go. Hey guys, it's your girl Salee here, back with another video. And with today's video, I'm basically going to be talking about um, my move to Rome because, yeah, I moved to Rome. So <laughs> let's get started. So I recently announced that I did move to Rome and I continually have been asked the question of how and why. So um, this video is going to be talking about that, how I moved to Rome and why I moved to Rome. So I guess let's start with a little backstory. Before I moved to Italy, Rome, Rome, Italy, however you want to say it, um, I was living in Los Angeles, California. So I was attending the school, Santa Monica College, and my intention with going to Santa Monica College was to eventually transfer over to a four-year university. And Santa Monica College, if you guys are in California, highly recommend going there if that's your goal. They have an international, like, they have international universities that they're affiliated with, and you know i was curious one day and i was like i mean i've never been abroad like ever and how cool would it be to actually just like live abroad so i looked at the schools that they've been affiliated with like they have like a layout of like what credits you need to transfer over and i accidentally stumbled upon like the international universities list i mean not accidentally like i knew what i was looking for and i just found it but i was not really expecting to find it because like it's so random, you know? I pressed on that link and I found my dream school that I've been thinking about going since high school. So um, as soon as I found out that they did have an affiliation with them, I went ahead straight to the website, pulled up their application, found out all the requirements in order to apply as a transfer student, got all my credits in order, made sure I worked extra hard that semester that I was going to school and apply just in the nick of time <laughs> to get my application and do like the early admission early decision process and it kind of just played out um perfectly not perfectly like there were some stumbles and stuff but yeah all i really did was apply and then i got accepted and now we're in rome <laughs> but there is also another thing it's just like how did you get there because you can't just apply and get accepted and then go right so Filmer's best friend. <laughs> so before I packed up all my stuff and moved to Rome, I had to renew my passport and do my best to obtain my student visa. So um, yeah, crazy enough, my passport had literally just expired before I wanted to go. So I had to renew that and then expedite it because it was like a whole process because like you need your passport in order to get your student visa and you can't have your student visa appointment until you have your passport so that was like a whole thing so I went ahead got my passport and then got it expedited I got that just in the nick of time and then I went ahead straight and I booked my appointment and my appointment was actually um early June you're supposed to book your appointment at least two months in advance like two months before you're actually leaving to your final destination and yeah um didn't do that because procrastinator at its finest not something to be proud of yeah and i got my passport to me in the nick of time and then i booked my appointment for the beginning of july thankfully my visa um got approved and it actually came in two weeks earlier than expected so i was like Oh. Once you have your visa, like you're basically good to go, you know? And then, you know, you need to have like money saved up or like scholarships, which is what I'm on. I'm totally on scholarships right now because <laughs> these loans and stuff, whoo, kind of hard. And, you know, with a lot of help from like my parents and just like my family and my friends and the support, um, I got to move. And honestly, it's been a great experience so far. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, yeah, the it's been different living in Rome of course I mean culture shock is real I don't speak Itali Italian I, yeah um, I don't speak Italian I only speak English and conversational Spanish 
Oh, I went to a doctor appointment the other day and I spoke to him in Spanish because I didn't know. It was like it was like Spanish and Italian like combined and we got nowhere. So um yeah, it's all about the preparation in it and also like having like a cute little like catchphrase Italian book, like pocket book kind of thing kinda helped me. And actually let me get it so I can show y'all. Let me get it so I can show y'all. Okay, so this is it. You can't really see it. It's not going to focus correctly, but this is it right here. It is the Italian Fast Talk Pocket Book, I guess? Well, Pocket Book is like purse. I don't know what you call this. It is like a Fast Talk Italian dictionary type thing, and it has like a whole bunch of cast phrases and everything, and I honestly, this was like my best friend, my last two weeks in Miami before I moved here. Because if I hadn't had looked through this before I had upped and moved, it would have been like a whole thing. But yeah, so that's basically um, that's basically it. Um, that's my story about how I moved to Rome. But I hope that answered all of your guys' questions on like my my moving to Rome story. And I'll be dropping some more videos soon about like my Rome adventures or like my Italy adventures or like my Europe adventures in general. So. Yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for those up and coming videos. And thank you for watching this one and hearing my story. Really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.